Welcome. Um, today for our battle verse, our um, Strong Disciples battle verse, we did change our name. It was a Rainless podcast. We're changing it to Strong Disciples. But uh, today's battle verse is, is a great verse. It comes out of Hebrews, Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. And it, it just helps us to realize that, one, we have a God that knows what we go through. You know, so many religions... Um, have a God that's a distant, far off God that doesn't know who you are, what you go through, any of that kind of stuff. Um, but the Bible, the, the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ, um, is a God that knows what we go through. And that's what this verse is. So let's pull that verse up and uh, right here. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. That's very important. Um, and this is talking about Jesus, but one who has been tempted in every way and we, uh, as we are, yet without sin. Very important. Um, if Jesus would have sinned, then he wouldn't have been God in the flesh and he couldn't have taken away our sins. We have to have someone, um, a perfect sacrifice because we can never be perfect. We can never obtain um, God on our own like all the other religions try. Um, but we have someone that, is coming in our place, as this verse says. This is a, a great battle verse. There's so many parts that are that are good here, but uh, let's read uh, 16. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive and find grace to help us in a, in a time of need. Um, again, there's so much with that verse. We're memorizing these verses, putting it on our, our card. Um, and this is a uh, fifth or sixth one. Uh, I can't remember. I have to look. I think it's our sixth, sixth battle verse. Um, but there's so much in this verse. I mean, so let's think about that. So Jesus knows what, um, what we go through. He's been embarrassed. I mean, he hung on a cross naked. Um, and he was betrayed by so many. Even when he was on the cross, all of his disciples left him. There's only a few people, John and 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 um, Mary and and those at the cross. You know, he knows what it's like to be um, to have someone picked over him. In the sense, Barabbas, the murderer, uh, was picked over Jesus, the the Son of God, uh, the the Holy One, the one that hadn't sinned. He he knows what it's like. Um, to be mocked. I mean, you could even say bullied. He let himself be bullied, which is crazy um, in the sense of um, Pilate and, and the soldiers. They mocked him and smacked him in the face when before the cross. And if you are, uh, if you're God, who's hitting you? And, and they spit on him and those kind of things. Um, amazing that he let himself be um, tempted because he could have destroyed them. He could have had, as he as he said, don't you know? I could have you know twelve legions of angels come down and just destroy. I mean, he made this world, uh, as it as it talks about in John. But uh, he let himself he he let himself die in front of people hanging on a cross, um, and, and it just amazes me that we have a God that cares so much. You know, and, and so many people don't understand for some reason. I think God is just a, a a God of don'ts, but he's a he's a God of promises, a God that, hey, I've done this for you. So you don't have to whatever you don't have to go into sin. You don't have to sin. You don't have to um, be a slave to sin. Um, I've given you eternal life, as we talked about earlier in, in one of the verses that we uh and. And John, that we talked about, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and shall any man pluck them out of my hands. Um, but uh, we have a God that knows how we feel. That has helped me so many times um, when I'm praying, when I'm thinking about God, when I'm going through a struggle. I'm like, you know how I feel. You became flesh just so you could go through this, so you could be the perfect sacrifice for me, so I could have access to God, so I could do the second part of this verse. Let's look at this verse again. It's just awesome. For we have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. Um, knows what it's like to be tempted. Knows what he was tempted in every way, it says. But one who, who has been tempted in every way as we are yet without sin. Therefore, therefore, let us approach 
the throne of grace with boldness. Let us go to his his let's let us go to him in prayer and and ask, Lord, you know what I'm going through. Help me. You know, we can go to that throne of grace and ask for help and and say, Lord, you know exactly what I'm going through at this moment right now. Um, you know, because you're you're omnipresent, uh, omniscient and all those things. But you also know because you've been there. You've been through every struggle that I've I've been through uh, for the most part. Um, and, and it's just amazing that we have a God that allows us to do that. Uh, this is one of those verses that just helps you um, build that relationship and and the real relationship Um we don't have idols like some religions do where you feed it and it it really means nothing to you we have a god a god that has love such love for us and a god that has such such feeling because he's been through it and we can go to him he's created a way by dying by becoming that perfect sacrifice that we can go to him in in time to find grace to help in a time of need to find the uh, what I need for my day or what I need for a moment where I'm struggling and where weakness has overtaken me. Um, that is powerful stuff. This is a verse that can really give you what you need um, for your day and, and really help you build a relationship with a God who cares. So I hope that gives you some some insight today. That's a battle verse. That's a verse that you can use to uh, battle Satan because he's going to come at you. Uh, we'd love for you to uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Um, we're going to build on some of these things. We're going to have some workouts. Um, I think I'm going to come up with a cross workout. Um, and it's going to kind of mimic what Christ did on the cross just so we get our minds. I love to work out and those kind of things. So if that's something you're interested in, um, uh, just stay tuned and we'll have some more. And, and there's, there's five other battle verses and we're going to keep giving battle verses because we need to do battle with Satan. We need to be strong disciples. So until next time, stay strong.